This is Jeannie from Trendy Tree. Today we're going to show you how to make this monkey wreath. All the supplies came from Trendy Tree and we'll give you a list of those and the SKU numbers and everything that you need to do this. It's made using the ruffle technique which is really a very easy technique especially for new folks. Okay, let's get started. The supplies that we're going to use for this um, monkey wreath, this is a new fabric mesh that we have. It's made of a combination of polyester and uh, polypropylene. It's called fabric mesh. Gives it a great texture. This is kind of a, a burlap color, but the uh, polypropylene, of course, makes it waterproof, but then the polyester gives it a nice fabric feel. So this is a 10 inch roll, uh, 10 inches in width, 10 yards in length. The ribbons we picked out are two one and a half inch ribbons and uh, two, two and a half inch ribbons, just assorted ribbons and we'll, we'll do some ribbon strips with that. And then we're gonna use a 24 inch work wreath. This is the lime color. Uh, this is the work, what Fresh you call green. a work, work version. Fresh green. Fresh green, sorry, fresh green. And it's a 24 inch wreath. Now on our 24 inch wreaths, the widest ring measures 15 inches. And the opening on the inside is about, somebody asked me that the other day, 12 inches. So with your finished product, when you put your mesh and your ribbons and all, you wind up with a wreath that measures, you know, greater than 24 inches. The other thing that we're gonna be using is this cute monkey kit. He's, uh, let's see how many pieces, one, two, three, five pieces. Uh, his head has wires in three different places so you can position them uh, on your wreath. Then his uh, arms, and in one of his arms he's holding a banana. <laughs> it's cute. And then he has legs. All these pieces are wired so you can bend the legs to shape them after you put them on your wreath. And of course there's wires attached on the back. And then he has a long tail that you can curl and attach. So the first thing we're going to do is start cutting our mesh. We're cutting the mesh strips 10 inches in length. Now each roll of this mesh is uh, 10 yards, so technically you should get 36 pieces off each roll. But now it will vary. Sometimes you might get 35, sometimes you might get 37. But it, it won't take all of two rolls, but it does take more than one. Of course, you could do this same uh, wreath out of a different uh, kind of mesh. You could use just plain deco poly mesh, um, metallic, or, or anything. But for the ruffle technique, it is best to use a product that comes 10 inches wide. I wouldn't recommend um, using a 21 inch product and splitting it to make your um, ruffle because of the extra raveling. This particular product to me doesn't ravel as bad as poly mesh, paper mesh, or anything like that. I don't know if it's because it has that polyester in it, but I'm seeing less raveling with this. To make your ruffle, just let the mesh just lay down in its natural position and flip it over and have your selvage edges to the outside. Let's go out that way, son. Have your selvage edges to the outside and then just pinch or, or gather up through the center and you're scattering it to make a ruffle. Okay? That's what one looks like and we're going to do a cluster of three ruffles so she's going to make two more. And when you hold your ruffles, you don't want to just stack them right on top of each other. You want to angle them a little bit. So 
now I have all three ruffles. I'm going to hold them in my hand at one time, and then I'm going to open up a twist, and I'm going to start on the outside of the wreath. Just opening up a twist, lay the three ruffles down, and just give the twist a couple of turns. I'm only going to do a couple of turns right now because we're going to be adding in some ribbon strips. So I'm going to work all the way around the outer ring first. After you've gone all the way around the outer ring, you move to the inner ring and add three layers of ruffles into each twist, just like you did on the outer ring. It's very full at this point. It measures about 24 inches, and you'll have some strings you'll have to clip. You can clip now, or you can clip when you get finished. Now, the next thing we're going to do is add some ribbon strips. It's always a good idea to do a test ribbon before you start cutting up your ribbons. We tried a 12 inch and then we cut a 13 inch. I think we're going to go with a 13. And the way we finish off the ends of these ribbons are just to do an angled cut. And we're going to, we have four different ribbons. We're going to cut 13 inch pieces of all four different ribbons and put a ribbon cluster in each twist. Maybe. Now we cut 18 pieces of each ribbon and then we're going to you gather the ribbon up and just pinch it in the center and just hold it in your hand kind of kind of spread your ribbons out so they just won't be you don't want to just stack them right on top of each other just kind of spread them out like that and then you're going to take that ribbon cluster and attach it to the wreath and to do that you want to open up that twist make sure that your ruffles stay in place and just lay the ribbon cluster down and re-secure the twist. And this time, you can give that twist three or four turns because this is your last layer. And then after you put your ribbons in there, just kind of spread them back out again. Make sure all your ribbons are facing right side up. And we did, did I, we just cut those ribbons at an angle the ends of the ribbons at an angle. But we're going to put one of these ribbon clusters in each twist. And I'm just going to start on the inner ring. It doesn't really matter where you start. But you want to get all those ribbons out there where you can see them. Just 
you just have to hang the monkey on the wall to kind of see where you want to fit your pieces. And each piece, the wire, the head has about three different wires. You do want to wire uh, the head, the pieces, to the work wreath frame. And then just position the arms. All these do have wires in them for attachment. And then they have wires for shaping too. And just fix the legs the way you want them. You can cross the legs or anything. And uh, with the tail, but just be sure to wire the pieces directly to the work wreath frame. 